ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's news time. Let's welcome everybody. Today we have a great show for you. And our first story today is in the United States of America. Can you hear me, Ashley? Yes, I can hear you. Fantastic. We can see you and we can hear you loud and clear. Ashley, what's happening in the United States today? Today, I bring a lot of girls to the house, to the White House, and then his wife is going to the gym, and then they are having a meeting. His wife forgot to bring the key card and went back to the White House, and then when she go into the house, you can see a lot of girls with Jordan, Jordan Biden, and then she was freaking out. And she asked why there's a lot of girls. And then he said, because we're having a meeting, what are you doing here? Mm. She said, I forget to bring the key card. Can I go back to the house to get? And then he said, yes. And what did Joe Biden say? Hurry up to get the key card. Don't distract us for having a meeting. Mm -hmm. And then was Mrs. Biden angry? His wife told him to sleep at the living room for one month. Oh, and it's, is, that, is that the end of the story, actually, from America? Yes. Oh, okay. So difficult time for the president, Joe Biden. Thank you very much for that story. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're going across the world to the Philippines. We have a reporter waiting uh, in Manila. It's Kitty. Kitty, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Fantastic. We can hear you loud and clear, Kitty. Tell us what's happening over there in Manila today. Today, there was a pregnant woman and a grandma went to the Purcell Park and there and there is, and the baby is not coming out for a long time. Mm -hmm. So the grandma was weird and then take the, take the pregnant lady to the prison park and, and let the baby have some fresh air. Mm -hmm. But suddenly the baby, the, the pregnant woman fall down on the floor and said that the baby is coming. There's no one at the prison park. So the grandma was, was scared. Mm. And then he looked around at the prison park. He suddenly saw a car, a driver is driving. He said that, she said that, drive, my uh drive this pregnant lady to the hospital and uh, the driver take them to the hospital immediately mm -hmm. they but it's too late the baby is already died from too long oh that is terrible news there from manila and did the mom have anything to say after that the mother said that, why am I so stupid? I should call 911 or drive my car. Oh, yes. Okay, a very good lesson for our viewers there. If you have problems, please call the police. Thank you very much, Kitty, from the Philippines there. We have another story coming up in a moment for you, ladies and gentlemen. It's from a house in Germany. We have a reporter there on the scene. It's reporter Hogan. Hogan, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good. Okay, Hogan, tell us what's happening there in Germany today. Today, there was a criminal came to this house to take one million and the owner didn't know have a criminal came. The owner called to the police, but the police can't find the criminal, but mm -hmm. have uh, people see very suspicious people mm. and have police and police ask what does he look like? And the people say it 
is he is very fat and have a head. Police said, "You see a、uh, very fat people. Tell me, please." Okay, so the police are looking for a very fat man. Hogan, if you just move your you down a little bit, the camera can't quite see. There, we're perfect. And、um, if we see a very fat man in Berlin, then call the police. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, everybody, please be careful. There's a fat man with a hat and a million dollars. Thank you very much. Important story there from Germany. Thank you very much, Hogan. We're now going live, ladies and gentlemen, to India. We have a reporter on the ground. It looks like at the Taj Mahal. It's Aiden. Aiden, can you hear me in the studio? Yes, I can. Fantastic! I can see you and I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead, Aiden. Today at Taj Mahal, there was a fire because a girl was cooking noodles, and she only play with the dolls. And doesn't care about the fire, so it burned Taj Mahal and be and become black. Oh! And the house owner promised to give money to the builders to paint it white again. Mm hmm. Do you know how much paint they're going to need to paint the Taj Mahal, Aiden? Um. No. Maybe a lot, I would think, right? Yes. Wow, very, very sad story there. And、um, what did the lady say after after that? Did she have anything and, to say? And the lady said, "I'm very sorry. I will be careful next time." Yes, please be careful, everybody listening. When you play with your dolls, if you're cooking noodles, thank you very much. There, Aiden reporting live from India. And let's now go across the world to Mexico. We've got a reporter reporting just outside Mexico City. Hannah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Fantastic, Hannah. Tell us what's going on there in Mexico. In Mexico City, a twenty-year-old man with an old dog went to a hot air balloon ride.、Mm -hmm. When they during the ride. An eagle tra was trying to attack them. A few seconds later, the balloon popped. So the man and the dog rode down the mountain. Luckily, the man could call the hospital, so he called the nearest hospital there. The ambulance came fastest as they can, and they bring the bed up. When they arrive, they bring the bed up to the mountain. And they saved them. When they arrived at the hospital, the doctor did an X-ray,、mm -hmm. and the doctor said the man left leg was broken, but it wasn't serious, and the dog isn't injured at all, just a little scratch.、Oh, so the man said, "I'm thankful that my dog isn't injured, and I don't need to stay in the hospital." That's all for me. Back to you in the studio, Jeremy. Well, thank you very much for that story, and I'm very pleased to hear that the dog was okay, even if the man was a little injured. Thank you very much, Hannah, there in Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, to finish the show, we have one final story, and it's a local story here in Hong Kong. We have Mickey here reporting, reporting from a restaurant. Mickey, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Very, very good to see you. Mickey, can you tell us what is happening over there now? I have an old man and a dog go to eat a sushi, but the old man eat one sushi, but he give a five dollar. He is say why, and the people say because is your dog eat is so much. And the old man is very angry. He is crazy, and he is fouled of fouled of 
the ground and he the have some people call the 911 and go to a hospital but he's died oh he's dead and just let me uh, check the number how much did he have to pay at the five dollars five dollars yes just five dollars of sushi Oh, yes. I thought it might have been five hundred dollars of sushi, right? Because the dog ate lots of sushi. Ten. Ten dollars. Okay, not too much sushi, but maybe it's a cheap restaurant. Thank you very much. They're reporting live from Hong Kong, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of time. It has been a pleasure to put the show on for you tonight. More tomorrow night.